Well, we're really, really uh, excited about what's going to be happening tomorrow night, the big move to the CW. And, Sean, just talk about what this move is like and what's in store tomorrow night on the CW for N- NXT. Well, look, I mean, it's a, it's a big move for us. It's a, it's a, it's a, a good time, a big time here in NXT. Um, moving to broadcast television, um, you know, for NXT is absolutely huge for us. Um, and the talent's excited. They're, they're, they're excited about the move to CW. Obviously they're excited to go to Chicago, um, and launch this show. I, I don't, I'm not sure what, uh, everyone is more excited about the, the move to CW and this show or the idea that they're going to get a chance to perform in front of the, you know, you know, some of uh, the most notorious fans in all of, uh, you know, the world. And that's, uh, those fans in Chicago. That's, uh, just a fantastic fantastic atmosphere uh, in the Allstate Arena. So everybody's pretty jazzed about going. Going to, you know, leave after this interview, jump on the plane and get to Chicago. And you know, th- th- then it's time to get it done. Then it's showtime. Sean, uh, Julia uh, challenges Roxanne at, for the NXT Championship. Well, what kind of impact has, has Julia made since uh, being a part of the N- NXT roster? A big one. I mean, look, and I think obviously uh, a great deal of that is going to come to fruition um, tomorrow night in Chicago. Um, I think everybody has been waiting with bated breath uh, for her to come. I, I know that there were heck, there were probably, I don't know, two or three PLEs uh, <laughs> where people thought she was uh, coming in and everybody was you know anticipating her arrival. It's finally here. And now for the first time, um, certainly – in an NXT ring, uh, the world is going to get to see Julia, you know, perform on, a, on an extremely big stage. And I think she's got her work cut out for her because Roxanne Perez right now is is running on all cylinders and she's doing a great job. I think she's uh, feeling great about being the NXT Women's Champion. I think she's doing incredible work right now. So it's going to be a match for the ages. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that one. Also, you got you got Trick and Ethan Page. They have their title match, uh, and as the premiere episode of NXT and CW, talk about the rivalry and and the strides that both of those guys have made. Well, I'm not sure if anybody um, has had a quicker and bigger ascension um, to the NXT Championship than, than Ethan Page. Um, he's somebody who came in obviously with a, a, a great deal of experience and clearly that experience, uh, you know, served him well. Um, he's been the NXT champion the way he went about winning that title may be questionable in the eyes of some people, uh, but he's been a fantastic champion from that point on. And uh, he's obviously wants to prove that he's worthy of that championship by defending against Trent Williams, arguably uh, the most, you know, Popular, charismatic, charismatic star in NXT history. Trick uh, is somebody that uh, you know rose to the top pretty quickly. Everybody sees his charisma, sees the gifts that he has. Um, but going up against a guy as experienced as Ethan Page, he's got his work cut out for him. But he's somebody that wants to reclaim the NXT Championship. What better place to do it than in Chicago uh, on the launch of the CW show? But this is a huge. Huge platform for both guys, for the entire NXT roster. And I think that's what I'm most excited about is the opportunity that all our young superstars have, uh, you know, tomorrow night in Chicago. Sean, I'd like to take you back to Julia and Roxanne for a moment. So a two-part question. Back to Julia. You understanding how important it is to be charismatic, over the top, lots of life, lots of personality julia to me has seemed a bit subdued so far is subdued the character that you're looking for from julia or would you like to see her bring out her charisma a lot more especially with her facials well look i think again that's one of the reasons that nxt exists right to help people develop uh and you know hone their skills uh, before they go to the big stage of, of raw and smackdown but again, I, I think Julia is somebody, again, she's made a huge life-altering transition um, in her life. I think she's uh, getting her feet wet. I think she's getting comfortable. Uh, I also look, and let's see what happens uh, tomorrow night in Chicago. I think people are going to be amazed once they see the Julia that goes from 
perhaps talking in the ring as best she can to performing in that ring. Um, and also, look, she's only going to get better and more comfortable as she comes along. I, for one, am very excited. Let's put it this way. I think uh, it is quiet before the storm. And I think that's what Julia has in store for Roxanne Perez in Chicago tomorrow night. Roxanne, we have to see if she's up to the up to the challenge. And getting to Roxanne, one of the conversations that we've been having on here on Busted Open over the past couple of weeks is how well Roxanne has been doing in NXT. Stepped up to the plate a couple of weeks ago, shared the ring with CM Punk, held her own very, very well. We talked about her on the, the possibility of her moving up to the main roster. My opinion of the situation was I would only want to see Roxanne Perez move up to the main roster if they had something definitive for her. But right now, let's just say that Julia was able to shock the world and defeat Roxanne, and Roxanne did move on to the main roster. Do you think she could succeed right now on Raw or SmackDown? I think that's a tough call. I mean, I think she can. I will say this. I, I I agree with you guys. It was probably two or three months ago. And I think Mark and, and, and you know, Bubba, you guys know at a point in your career, there's one of those times you're, you're out there, you have a match, and sort of that light bulb goes on, and everything begins to make a little bit more sense. And that you know, enables you to then begin to carry yourself with a confidence and a comfortability uh, that you didn't have before. Roxanne had that match. I think for me, that turning point uh, was, you know, was uh, against uh, with Chase U. And, and, and I think she had that opportunity out there. I um, mean, she just sort of stepped into her own as the champion. Now, look, I think anytime you go to the main roster, much like you're talking about Julia, it's an entirely different world. It's a big move. Now, how you deal with that move, I think, determines how well you do whether she steps into that with the confidence and the aggression and the, just the comfortability that she has right now, and she does that on the main roster, you bet I think she could be successful. It's all, you know, as you guys know, a lot of it is how you yourself carry yourself when you're in those environments. Sean, when for, you know, we were talking about this earlier on in the show. In your Hall of Fame career, there weren't a lot of times that you liked to pump the brakes. But here you are with NXT, and you just said it. You have to put on the best possible product on the CW tomorrow night, brand new network. But at the same time, it is developmental, and you're trying to teach and have them learn the right way to one day move to the main roster. How difficult is that to do to know that, hey, we have an audience that's watching a live pro wrestling show, but also I got to think of these as my children and having them learn to one day move to the main roster. Yeah, look, it, uh, it's incredibly, it's incredibly difficult. Um, you know, that's why this beard gets grayer and grayer absolutely every day. Um, no, it, I will say this: it, it really is. It's a for me, it's it's a blast to do. Um, I enjoy coming to work every day, but it is a balance there. Again, you have to, you know, sort of find yourself. You 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 have somebody that lights the world on fire like a Trick Williams, and it's impossible not, you know not to allow him the opportunities to have the most success he can, but he's somebody that's been doing this for, you know, for two years. Um, and, and again, it's you, you, you do your best to get him out there in the best situations that you can, but you can only go so fast. The world only turns so quickly. Um, and, and as we go down the road here in NXT, it's a very delicate balancing job we do with, you know, trying to teach, and, 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 and show them that developmental process while also knowing that these athletes are ready to go. They're chomping at the bit, uh, you know, so a lot of it is balance on our part. It's also communicating with, you know, the talent, helping them have balance and patient on, patience on their part as well, while still wanting to harness that hunger and that passion to succeed uh, with all these D1 athletes, they have one thing in mind. They set a goal and they go out there and they achieve it. And that's fantastic. And it's wonderful for us to have the opportunity to foster that growth. But it really is, look, it's 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 a daily sort of, you know, balancing contest. I can't put it any other 
any other way than that, um, that we do our best to do. Now, look, every time you may not hit it perfectly, but I think more often than not, uh, as you see NXT slowly get better and improve on a, a, you know, whether it be a daily, weekly, or monthly, or yearly basis, uh, the proof is in the pudding. We seem to be having a decent balance right now. NXT is the, you know, is the most successful rising show, uh, you know, yeah. on television right now. Um, and we're very proud of that. Sean, we had Trick on last week. And one of the things that I always talk about with Trick is, is it's, it's all there. It's there. But there's this one little thing missing. And I think that one little thing has been the right person to bring it out of him. And we kind of put his feet to the fire. Well, I did. I kind of put his feet to the fire a little bit on the show. And Trick got a little bit reserved in that moment. A guy like you. When you see Trick Williams, would you just love to land one last sweet chin music on him to bring it out of him? Do you is that like a guy that Shawn Michaels would get the itch because you know he's right there? He just needs that veteran to bring him to the next level. I'll say this: what I do get, and I what I get it with many uh, of our talent. There are times that I wish I could just be in there with them once again to help them again you both know it you're in there with that certain somebody and then it is then this this feel this you know this 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 feel this mysterious feel that we always talk about when we're talking to one another or we're talking to young talent they're able to grasp it right now it's something that eludes them they hear about but you don't know it until you felt it and 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 you know yep. very whether it's you, Bubba, you, Mark, or, you know, or myself, there are times that you know I can make them feel this in that moment if I could just be out there with them. But look, that goes back to the patience on our part, the patience on their part, and doing everything that we can to put them with the best people or put them in the right situations and give them a right mindset to know what it is they're looking for and then to recognize it when they see it or feel it. But I'm uh, I with know you. I understand what you're saying. Uh, I know time is short because you got a flight to catch to go to Chicago, get ready for tomorrow night. Big show, CW. Uh, we're going to get Trick Williams, as we were talking about, against Ethan Page for that NXT championship. And then the match that everybody's been talking about <laughs> for weeks, and that's Roxanne Perez, your NXT women's champion, going up against Julia. And I have to say this, and we've talked about this on the show a lot, Sean, that I feel like when it comes to – Stories, story development, personalities, and characters, nobody's doing it better than NXT right now. And I'm just glad as an old-school wrestling fan that you guys are able to say pro wrestling again. I mean, for crying out loud, they cut it out of your Hall of Fame speech for crying out loud. It's, it's, it's okay to say pro wrestling. I love that. It's a new era, baby. Well, look, thank goodness, because I, you know, I grew up wanting to be a pro wrestler. So thank the good Lord. <laughs> it's a, now, look, I won't I won't lie. I'm also a guy that turned into what I believe is a great sports entertainer as well. Uh, but let's face it. I've been called a lot of things and most of them have been true. So I'll take the pro wrestler, or the, you know, or the Wait, sports sh- entertainer. Sh- Sean, earlier in the show, real quick, earlier in the show, we were talking about this. Can you please explain to us really quick how Triple H and Shawn Michaels, the two biggest troublemakers in the history of the WWE, wound up running the place? God. (laughs) God was good in them. (laughs) God came down in a a, a ball of light and a hand. (laughs) Came out of this ball and went right over Hunter and 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 and, and, and Sean's mouth. <laughs> just, hey, let me put y'all in a good spot and just go with it. I'll say this: we uh we we have we're gifted in one area, and thank goodness that's the area that people put us in. That's all. That's that's all I can say. Well, Sean, thanks again for the time again. <laughs> NXT on CW tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern time. We'll be watching and we'll be reacting. Sean, good luck and thank you again for the time. Appreciate it. You bet. Thank you all very much uh, for always helping us out. Thank you, guys. I'll see you.